all right what's up with the youtube fam i'm back again with another video so look before i jump into the video i want to start out by telling my supporters out there everybody that's rocking with me i want to tell y'all that i do appreciate y'all and i hope that everything is going good today in y'all day or it will go good today anyway it go i'm just wishing y'all nothing but the best and I hope that everything is going the way that you want it to in your life. And if it's not right now, please don't give up on nothing that you got going on. Stay motivated, consistent, and keep you some faith. And everything will work itself out. If you don't give up, if you do give up, you're going to lose every time. So why would you give up, you know? Other than that, let's get going into this video right here. We're going to talk about this. So I had three supporters hit me up with the same situation. And the only thing that they had in common with this was not knowing what took place. But basically, long story short, it's a young lady who is going viral everywhere because of her sister throwing acid on her face. Now, you know, it just really baffles me that somebody would really do something like this to their family members. But you got to remember that everybody who's blood ain't family, you know, and that shit really runs deep when you just think about that. And I feel like that, you know, for her to get done like this without knowing what's going on, I'm still riding with her because whatever the hell happened, it didn't have to go this far, you feel me? But anyway, it go, I feel like that when people do certain things, it be because they got a certain vendetta against you. Now, I went through some of her pictures and stuff like that. She was a pretty girl. And I'm not even saying that her sister might not be pretty, you feel me? But I, I do want to say that, you know, people can envy you for simply just being you. It's crazy, ain't it? How a person can envy you for simply being yourself. I don't understand it. I never will. It is what it is. But people just, you know, evil and vindictive. And I just can't ever just get with that. Just hateful as hell. But overall, she did a video about the whole situation. I didn't get any details on it. So but we're finna watch it and talk about it. That's what we're here for anyways to talk about it. But, you know, I do want to say that, man, be mindful of who you are around and who you're dealing with. And pay attention to the way certain people move and react to certain things that you do and have going on because you could be thinking that these people be with you the whole time and the whole time they're really against you and don't like your ass and really hate your goods you know but anyway go let's get straight into the situation at hand i want to know your thoughts and opinions on this y'all like comment subscribe if you're rocking with me and y'all hit the like button too but other than that let's get straight into it yeah tiktok i need y'all help man real life i got staples all in my face and shit I need y'all to help me, bro. Like, can y'all support my GoFundMe account, man? I just want my face to be dead. Like, out of all people, my sister threw acid on me, y'all. Like, they, don't, they already had to cut off my cut off my tattoo on my arm and stuff. Like, Damn. My body messed up, y'all. I don't look like this. <laughs> I don't look like this, y'all. Just sit so, just sit so, for real. Nigga, 
Okay, like I said before, I don't feel like whatever the problem was between them two should have went this far. And I feel like that a lot of things that do happen like this be because of jealousy. I can never look past it. Now, I don't know what she could have possibly did. And this is all speculations. But like I said, I don't think it should have went that far. Sometimes you ain't got to do nothing for a person not to like you. They just simply just don't like you. They can not like how people look at you, how they feel about you, the love you get, the attention that you get. It could be anything that can make a person just snap on you or switch on you at any given moment. And they'll try to find different ways to justify what they're doing and what they did and shit like that. And I would never understand that. And I would never just really get with that. That shit lame, man. It's lame. It's lame. I don't understand that, bro. I swear. And, um, yeah, you know, I just wish that, that this didn't happen to her because... She got a long way to go. Let's get back into the video, man. If you want to throw acid on somebody, my baby can't even recognize me. It hurt the most. Like, you do it in front of my child. Welcome to the video. Uh, please help me. Just go for my account, bro. Please. Come on, y'all. I appreciate the prayers, the shares. Y'all keep. Keep sending the man. Keep praying for me, man. That's all it is. Keep praying for me. My arm open. My arm is open. It hurts so bad. I can't see. Damn. I can't barely see. But, but I don't know my eyes. Y'all just help me, man. My cash up is on my story. And my GoFundMe is in my bio. Just keep saying it, y'all. Just keep praying for me. That's it. I appreciate everybody up on this TikTok. Let me tell y'all something. It, this, this, this for the people with the negative comments talking about, oh, she don't need this, she don't need that. How can y'all tell people what I need? Y'all ain't walked a mile in my shoes. Y'all probably won't even last. In situations I done been in, I'm just 23, y'all. I was homeless last year with my baby. And we were sleeping room to room, hotel to hotel. Ain't nobody know that it could get away. I don't look like what I been through. I don't have my son out here looking thrown away. We don't look like what we been through. How can you part your mouth and say, oh, she don't need help? How I don't need help? Do you see my face? How can you say I'm not in pain? I'm in pain. It hurt. They give me medicine for it. How can you just part your mouth and say, oh, she ain't going through nothing. She up here dancing on TikTok. Oh, she flashing money on TikTok. Bro, I never been no, I never been a crying person, y'all. And I ain't never been a person just sit down and ask for something. But like, if I'm sitting up here asking people for help, that mean I really need it, bro. Like, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Since everybody out here getting false accusations, false rumors, and talking about it's dealing with, it's dealing with her trans sexual assault. Hold up, why the fuck would I the assault my mother, niece and nephew? Stop giving out false ass rumors. The real story is my sister on hard drugs. She needs some help. You feel me? She ain't like the I said. I just been real raw and uncut with her, cause. You got people in and out your house every day talking about some damn Miley. Like, that made me look bad. People know you my sister and they know you only you feel me? Like, how you think that made me feel? Make it make sense. How you think it make your children feel? How you think it made me feel? So, when I, I spoke on some real right damn, all you do is sit around and lay down and smoke all day. You don't want to get up and hustle. You don't want, you don't want no motion. You want Hand it to you, cuz make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm so real, mother. I hate when you say real shit I don't like. You feel me? So she had her little junkie friend. They all up in the, all up in the house. 
I'm, I'm speaking my mind, you feel me? Like, these motherfuckers not your friend, because if they were your friend, they, they wouldn't have you on no like this. They wouldn't have you on no like this. They wouldn't have you looking like this. You'll be able to take care of your child, your kids. So, as that, as that started to go around, I'm in my, in my niece room, feed my baby. Boom, I'm feeding my baby. She coming up, she flipped my baby food in my face. You feel me like that my mind. You just I'm fit, I'm feeding my goddamn baby and you done flipped his plate in my face. Boom. Okay, so I picked the plate up, I threw it at her. She went in her room and got a machete. She tried to be like, ain't that much hate in the world, just because I'm telling you what's right. You think for using you, but you ain't you, you ain't trying to help yourself. How you how how is somebody using you? Your mind is Yo, you need to be in a rehab somewhere, bro. Like, you need some help, cuz. Ain't no way in hell. We, sh I, I did not want to fight my sister in front of my niece and nephew and my baby, bro. She hit me. She hit me, bro. I had to let her hit me because she had a machete in her hand. I ain't know what the f she was going to do to me. You feel me? Like, make it make sense. Boom. She put the machete down. We started fighting. We went outside and started fighting. The neighbors came across the street, they trying to break it up. She mad because she lost. She feel me like, okay, boom. After that, she started throwing my baby out the house. Soon I, I get back to her porch. And I'm pick, try, I'm trying to come pick up me and my baby shit. My baby standing right up on the side of me. I'm picking up out. She opened the door and throw it in my face. That ain't love. But child wants, why the fuck you let her see this shit? My niece six years old, she knows so much. Why the f her see this? That would hurt me. But child want to get on these blogs and, and try to make it something that it ain't, bro. No, we gonna speak the truth right here, bro. I'm real, I'm raw, and I'm uncut on this. Bitch. I never thought my sister would do this to me. Now I gotta go around to ask me who did it to you, Nene? Who did it to you? to say my sister my mother sibling did this to me we got the same mama same daddy my sister did it to me <laughs> that's hurt bro y'all don't know how you feel y'all making jokes this Okay, for those who want to know who she is and things like that, her name on TikTok is Neek the Goat. But uh, and I do want to say that I hate that she had to go through this. And the, the, the part they're showing right now says, sick and surgery, my body can't move. See, that's crazy, man. You know, I really, really hate that. I hope that she can get better. I hope that everything can work out for her. You know, and I feel like that her sister should be charged. I don't give a damn. She should be charged to the maximum extent because the way that she did this shit right here is unforgivable. Y'all forgive me for a second, man. But, um... Yeah, I just feel like that, you know, to witness this just makes me look at everything differently because I just know and understand how life is these days, man. And it's like it's changing and evolving at a rapid pace. And the things that people are doing these days just don't make no sense to me. It's really mind-boggling. Like I said before, I'm baffled that, to, that this even happened, you know, to your own flesh and blood. But blood don't make you family, man, like I said before. But other than that, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. Y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're rocking with me. <sighs> and I'll holler at y'all later on another video. All right. And if I find out more information on this or update or something like that, we will talk about it because, you know, this is all we have right now. But, yeah. I mean, if you run across this video, I hate that for you, man. I hope that everything can get better for you. And your sister ain't about shit for that. But, hey, it is what it is. I'll holler at y'all later. All right.